Hey, you guys, it's late. Um, I'm just still up because I've done a lot of videos today. And as y'all know, I did some promo spots. But one of the things I want to say is this. I am no self-proclaimed, like, super workout, eat right all the time, right? And for those of you that think that these people paid me thousands of dollars to do a post, that's not the case either. There's some girls in the world that have always been a little chunkier than others, whether you eat right and diet all the time or don't eat anything, which is even worse for you. But I will say this. It's emotional for me. I'm an emotional eater, and I'm up down all the time. Sometimes I eat salad with grilled chicken, and sometimes I might mess up an entire cheeseburger, okay, with the fries, with the ranch, with the chili on them, like, and go home with some dessert. I mean, I grew up in the South, and whether we were mad, sad, or glad, we were fed. So, maybe some of you do supplements. Maybe some of you try things. But you know what? If it's not bad and it's not awful, I'm not out here trying to say there's a get-quick fix, like take something and you lose thousands of pounds. Absolutely not. I mean, look at one of the most famous, richest people in the world, Oprah Winfrey. She has struggled with her weight her entire life so much that she bought Weight Watchers people. Come on. But she's also not stupid. It was an investment. She's making money. And she's trying very hard to not be seen as that girl because she has this issue. I'm okay with me. But if I could drink a little something to get me through the afternoon and to get me into all these videos and posts I had to do tonight and talking about 90 Day and doing all this stuff, like, why not? I mean, hell, I don't have an OnlyFans yet, but I've certainly thought about it. Just stay tuned. Who knows what I'm going to do. But I know in my heart I work my ass off every day, and I have a thing with food. I love food. My love affair with food is, like, so great. Tana, I am rambling about just everything. I've had me a little something to drink. I might even have stayed on my back porch a little too long, but who cares? My point is this. This is me all day. I don't even have a filter on. My face probably looks crazy because I've sweated off about having my makeup. I'm trying to do promos. I'm trying to sell y'all, which was the whole point of this video. Everybody has asked us, what do you wear on Pillow Talk? And I'm like, I don't know. What day was it? Send me a screenshot. So I have tried my best to find all the different things that I've worn that you guys have requested me about. Like, I'm going to post it and I'm going to go live on Sunday. And we're going to sell this shit. And you guys can buy it. And the first people to message me through um, my DMs here or email me at molly at livyredlingerie.com. I'm going to have several of some of the outfits that I've worn. I only have one pair of mermaid pants. I'm going to sell those for top dollars so I can buy the homeless children some Christmas presents, okay? And I wore those pants once. But I sat my fat ass in them all day on that couch. So if somebody wants those mermaid pants... They're for sale. As well as, I know a bunch of people, you messaged me about this. The Texas butterfly dress. Inbox. Cynthia wore it, but it's like super plus with pockets. I tried to find more of them. I was going to shop for you guys and give you the links, but they disappeared. So, Sunday night at 8 o'clock, you can join me and my trusty compadres live at 8 o'clock on Sunday night. We're going to sell all this fabulous stuff that's i seen on Pillow Talk, the good news story is that cloud onesie that you guys love so much, the blue and white cloud, I have like 10 of those. And I have some super cute, right in time for the holidays, two-star print pajamas. And I only bought into like the things that I love that you guys ask about that I knew were comfortable and that I could get the right sizing on because... Sometimes when you're not sure where it's coming from or who's making it and you think you're ordering Tracy Beth, but you're actually ordering um, or getting wholesale from somewhere way, you don't know where. Yeah, those. So, I have a ton of stuff. Join us Sunday at 8 o'clock and we're going to sell just about every single thing that we've worn in Pillow Talk. Um, yes, worn once on the couch. We also have, a lot of you have asked about our bibs. These are our bibbies, bibs for your boobs. They're washable. They're wipe offable. So if you drop your food and you don't want popcorn crumbs in your boobies, snack for later. 
all the ones we've worn. I have the leopard ones coming. These are just the sample prototypes. But in about a week, we're going to have about 30 prints of these. we got some Frida Kahlo, Sugar Skull, and some other fun stuff. So who wants to be up? Let me know. Y'all message me because I got y'all on a list. And hello to everybody. And I would come totally chill with you. Why don't you go live with me, Tam? Live with me right now. I'll even open up an IPA from my porch. Look, somebody's going to talk about my hair. When I get nervous, I do this. I can't help it. Monty wants lunch. Pamela needs a bra. Jackson, oh, my God, guess what? I just want to say I found a picture of you and I from, like, the time we hung out, the time. And I was like, we need another night because you have fun, and I want to go where you go and do what you do. Well, a few things of what you do. We can do that. And I only look this fabulous because, you know, not brown beauty on the ones and twos. I'm in my house. I'm trying to figure out where I want to hang all this fabulous new artwork. Y'all, these are my ladies. I think that's what scared the beast out of here because I got my ladies. I talk to them every day. I tell them what's up and good morning and to hold it down while I'm at work. But I just want to know on Sunday when I start going through all these clothes, you guys. Who's going to be the proud owner of this almost famous super fuzzy cozy leopard dress? And for any of you that have questions about the stuff that I physically wore, um, my weight goes up and down about every six weeks for any of you who care. Because I, you know, try my supplements and do some tea and do my thing and I might lose 15 or 20 pounds. But then I eat it my way back like three days later. Um, but... Everybody that thinks that I was just holding it in. Here, let me get a look close. I can't really Photoshop that. And if I was out of breath, I couldn't really talk. But, I mean, yeah, it's all good. It, it. But almost all the clothes that I wear on the couch, if they're a stretchy legging, and you're anywhere from like a size 10 to a possibly 14, 16, you can get in them. I'm anywhere from an XL to a 2X, depending. Um, if it's made overseas and it's a 2X, it actually fits like a large. So, there's that. Um, y'all know I got big old bosoms, so most of my tops are fitted or gonna be the same, but extra large, 2X. But Cynthia's more of a medium large, so you guys know there's gonna be a lot of fun things on Sunday that we're selling, so join us then, just pre some 90 day. Who's excited about new 90 day fiance coming? me why not i'll be on my couch again talking about folks so look forward to seeing you guys on sunday night with all the stuff that we've worn from the couch we're going to sell it um and some things we have extra some things we don't but we'll be doing a live numbered first message in is going to get it so i'll see you guys on sunday peace out have a fabulous thursday